Hello. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. Um, I'm currently working with uh, three different clients at the moment, and we have uh, gotten to the point where this is necessary. Now, for those of you guys that are looking for any type of spell work that is going to help you or assist you, um, this spell is definitely for those that are looking to dominate a specific situation, person, or um, uh, people that you're dealing with. Now, this could be used for a multitude of reasons. You could do this to your boss. If your boss is giving you your life or making your life hell, uh, really difficult to deal with, uh, you're scared that you may end up losing your job just because they have uh, preferences or they're just mistreating you, taking you for granted, anything like that, this could be done for that. For those of you guys that are currently dealing with, you know, um, people that are just, you just need to, you just want to dominate um, and basically sweeten the, their personality up, warm them up to you. This could be done if there was a recent separation or argument or fight within your relationship. Uh, this can also be done, like I said, for co-workers, people that are just making your life miserable, but you don't want to completely like destroy their lives. Uh, this spell is for you. Like I said, what this does, uh, it's going to sweeten and warm them, warm them up towards you, uh, as well as uh, it's going to give you that, that edge that you need in regards to being able to dominate or mold them into a uh, basically your will, what you're wanting to happen. Uh, like I said, this is also used to counteract any type of anger or any type of animosity. Uh, like I said, for those of you guys that have been, or there was a fight, a huge fight between you and your partner, uh, between your mother, between your brothers, sisters, and it's just, they're very stubborn and you know that they're not going to come, uh, basically reach out to you unless it's you the one that does that all the time and you've gotten to the point where you're like okay you know what enough is enough then eat one chili um so you can get any type of green chili they have the really thick fat ones they have these you want one that is spicy uh you want one that is not just uh you know, like I said, there's bigger chilies out there that are green that you can use. It does not matter. But of course, the more spicy, the more intense it is. So I would suggest for you guys to make sure to get really spicy ones. These are extremely spicy. I've been wearing gloves and I already feel the burn. So um, ideally, that's exactly what you're looking for. Okay. You're also going to be needing some uh, lemon or lime. You can use either. It does not matter. It's really preference. Uh, you're also going to be uh, needing some aluminum foil because we're going to be wrapping these once we're done. Uh, for, you know, for protection and, and making sure that there's no negative residue energy or anything, we have the black candle burning in the back. Uh, for you guys, I would highly encourage you guys to, uh, to have some type of candle uh, that is a protection candle for yourself before doing any type of spell work, okay? All right, what you're gonna need? You're gonna need a green chili, you're gonna need lemon, you're going to need sugar. Ideally, if you're wanting to empower this spell work and get very quick results, I would encourage you guys to use spirit powder. Now, if you've never worked with spirit powder or you don't know what that is, it's okay. You don't have to use that. You can substitute uh, you can substitute the spirit powder with either sea salt, um, with either sea salt or, like I said, if you want to empower, strengthen it, get quicker results, use spirit powder. But again, if you've never worked with it or you don't know where to find that, you can always substitute salt. The salt or the spirit powder is just used uh, to cast a sigil that we're going to use when... Uh, we let these sit. Okay. All right. So like I said, what are you going to need? You're going to need lemon or lime. You're going to need a sh uh, sugar. You're going to need a piece of white paper, which is what we're going to write the, the petition specifically with the incantation I'm going to give you guys. You're going to need a green chili, aluminum, like I said, and the spirit powder. Okay. 
So for some of you guys, you guys already have this at home. It is not difficult at all to do. Uh, I've heard you guys, you guys prefer the simpler, uh, more practical uh, spell works. And that's what I'm trying to give you. But always, always making sure that they give you guys the best results. Okay. All right. So what are we going to do? All right, so the beginning, what we're going to do is you're going to get a white piece of paper. It cannot have any type of lines or anything, and it must be white. And what you're going to do is you're going to write the name and last name of the person that you're doing this for. So if it's your partner, you're going to write down their first name, last name, three times going down. Okay, that's the first thing that we're going to need to do here. So perhaps I should have done this for showing purposes sooner because I might actually okay so you're gonna write down your partner's name as an example I'm going to put uh, Josh Peck <laughs> all right as an example so you're gonna write down the person that you're doing this for the person you're trying to dominate the person that is either very stubborn or making your life more difficult and you want to make sure to control them you want to keep them on check you want to make sure that it goes your way okay so you're going to write down their name and last name three times going down i don't even know why i wrote josh peck i don't even know who that is um i think i heard it uh, today uh something that had to do with entertainment or something like that anyways okay so we have the name here right okay so once you write that you're going to then put this to the side there's a different process that I do uh, because these are for clients that I'm working with but if you yourself obviously you're doing this for yourself all you need to do is write down the person that you're doing this for, their first name and last name three times going down. You're going to put that to the side, okay? Let me cover this. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to cut the chili, as you guys can see here, and you're going to cut it from the top, all right? And what we're doing is we're taking this out. We're taking the seeds, the chili seeds out, because we want to create a hollow in this chili, which is where we're going to be putting in their name. Okay, so be uh, gentle with this as the whole purpose of this is not to break, uh, it's not to break the chili because this is a capsule. It's a representation of the capsule that you're putting, in, uh, putting them in. So, like I said, very important to go gentle. Don't be rough. You don't want to rip the chili on the sides or anything like that. Um, like I said, this is a representation of the capsule that you're putting them in. Basically, you're putting them on a freaking timeout. Um, now, this could be done, like I said, if you're doing this for love, uh, this could be done... Uh, most often, uh, I encourage, you know, uh, clients or relatives uh, that are, you know, dealing with partners that are extremely stubborn and they want everything to go their way, etc. You want to get your way. You want to <laughs> allow them to see your side. Do this. You guys are going <laughs> to get amazing results. You know, it's not about getting your way all the time. Um... It's about people have a tendency of taking advantage of people that they feel they can easily push around. That's a big no-no in my book. All right. So I'm giving you guys the tools to make shit happen on your watch, on your time, your way. All right. Like I said, you could do this even like if you're dealing with a pesty neighbor you don't want to completely fuck up their life. Um, you just want to like, you know, get them to get, you know, more understanding, more compassionate, um, basically more loving. Removing that negative 
juju they may be carrying. Um, okay, so as you guys can see here, it's completely hollowed out. All right, that's exactly what we want. So let me move this. Now, word of advice to the wise. Never toss out. Use as much of the ingredients that uh, you use when doing spell work. Um, as an example, you can always keep these. Whoops. You can always keep these, which I do. I dry them out and the seeds. And I actually use this for flying ointments or for uh, destruction spells. Uh, sorry, destruction oils. Um, so again, anyways, I'm going to put this to the side because I will be using this. I'm going to dry these out uh, before... I do need a new batch of flying ointment, so I'm probably going to be using it for that. Give me one second, you guys. So, once we are done and we have our paper ready to go, what we're going to do is we're going to get, put this here, we're going to get the lemon. Let's start off with this one. And what you're going to do is you're going to introduce the piece of paper into the lemon, okay? So as you guys can see, you're going to push it all the way in, you guys, all the way in. Okay? All the way in. So it's going to look something like this, okay? All right, so I'm going to put this here so I know which one um, wrote down for clients as I want to make sure that all right and we're going to do the same thing for the other so what you're doing is basically you're going to write down uh, sorry you're going to put in the piece of paper in here all right and what we're going to do now is let me put this Now you're going to get the aluminum foil. Give me one second. Okay. ones all right so I'm going to put it here all right and what we're gonna do is we're going to add actually before we do that we're going to add some sugar to this all right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add the sugar inside the lemon. All right, be gentle and soft. All right. Oh, this is so strong, you guys. This chili is super duper. All right. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to add a little more sugar as I want to make sure, okay, that it's filled. Okay, so once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to get the lemon and you're going to squeeze the juice in there. Okay, as so, so I'm going to let it sit here for a bit before we get into the other. All right, you see how the lemon went down? So I'm going to add a little more sugar. Okay. 
Okay. So once we do that, what we're going to do is now let it sit for a bit. Okay, give me one second, you guys. So once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to place it here. You're going to put both your hands over the chili and you're going to repeat this chant. You're going to say, it is not the paper that in this ritual I sweetened or sweetened. It is the judgment and mind of, and you're going to say the person's name. It is not the paper that I tranquilize. With this essence, it's the judgment and mind of person's name. Okay? You're going to say this seven times. So you're going to repeat it. It is not the paper that in this ritual I sweetened. It is the judgment and mind of your person's name. It is not the paper that I tranquilize with this essence. It's the judgment and mind of person's name. All right, so you're gonna do this seven times. Give me one second. It is not the paper that in this ritual I sweetened. It is the judgment and mind of, it is not the paper that I tranquilize with this essence. It's the judgment and mind of, it is not the paper in this ritual I sweetened. It is the judgment and mind of. If you're done with that, what you're going to do is you're going to cover it. Okay. We're going to cover this. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side really quick, actually, before I do, give me one. Okay. So now I'm going to do the other. You guys, if you do this, if you if you do this and take your time when doing this, I guarantee you guys that you guys are going to be amazed at the results that you guys get. I am so serious. I've done this so many times on numerous occasions and situations. You can basically do this for anything, really. Um, anything where you you feel like you don't have the upper hand where you feel like uh, there may be people that are purposely mistreating you, anything like that, um, you can definitely do this and you will see results. Um, and this is, uh, you know, this could even be used for reconciliations when it comes to relationships. Okay, I'm gonna put a little more of the sugar here. And uh, particularly, I highly encourage you guys to use this when you're dealing with people that are extremely stubborn. As an example, if you're working a spell or wanting to work a spell in regards to love, in regards to romance, and the person is extremely uh, difficult to work with, they're extremely stubborn, stuck in their pride, etc., etc., do this before doing any other type of ritual or any type of love spell. This is going to help you break them down, basically. This is going to help you um, really have that control over their mind, over their even views. Um, so it's very easy. It's kind of like it makes them very agreeable to your wants and desires. Um, so I, like I said, you can use this for a multitude of reasons, a multitude of things. Uh, this is a very, very, like you guys can see, very simplistic, easy spell. Uh, with extremely amazing results. And like I said, uh, you can use this for pretty much anything, really. All right, so I'm going to let it sit here for a bit. All right, so.
So once we're done with this, what we're going to do now is, okay. Okay. So let me move this. Okay, you guys give me one quick second. Okay, my lovely, so sorry. I know I should have mentioned this initially. I completely forgot. You're going to be needing a red candle. Now, uh, you can use uh, any type of red candle. It doesn't have to be a taper candle. Uh, you can use the small tea lights. You can use basically whatever red uh, candle you have. Um, ideally, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, get the candle and what you're going to put is you're going to literally write times three all right in an upward position and you're going to do the same thing on the other side okay now why do we put times three because we are making it that extremely strong and that extremely powerful three times okay so uh which is very connected to uh the star and um triangle that we're going to do with the spirit powder all right so as you guys can see here this is the part where as an example if you're not using spirit powder um once you've done this process all you need to do is then get the red candle light it keep it by your work by where you have your uh, uh the foil the chili in the foil you're going to leave it there and what you're going to do is you're going to wait about 15 to 20 minutes okay 15 to 20 minutes uh burning the candle once the candle is uh once the 15 to 20 minutes depending on how quick as an example if you see that the uh, candle is burning rather quickly then you can shut it off um uh within 15 minutes um so again like i said from 15 to 20 minutes um ideally uh if you see that it's burning very very quickly uh, then you wait 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes are up, you turn it around and snuff it on top of the aluminum, okay? Um, so, like I said, if you're not using spirit powder and you've done, uh, let's say you're completed already and what you're going to do now is you're basically going to light the candle. Once you light the candle, you leave it by your work. Uh, you're going to take about 15 to 20 minutes, okay? Within those 15 to 20 minutes, very important to put energy towards the candle. So I would highly encourage you guys to look or stare into the uh, fire. Really study the fire, meaning how it's burning, how it's moving. Um, that's going to give you a clear indication of how quickly you're going to get your results. Like I said, if you see that uh, the candle is burning rather quickly, going down rather quickly. Within 15 minutes, you can snuff it out on top of the aluminum. Um, and once that's done, you toss it, you toss the candle. And what you're going to do is you're going to get your work and you're going to put it in the freezer. Okay. Uh, you're going to leave it in the freezer. Um, so once done and the aluminum foil is uh, sorry, once you once the candle is up the 15 to 20 minutes, you've snuffed it out. What you're going to do is you're going to put it or leave it in the freezer for seven days and seven nights. Okay, seven days and seven nights. By the end of the seven nights, you should get results. Okay, so you have two options. Once you've gotten results, you have the option to toss the workout or you have the option to keep it by your altar or by somewhere where nobody, you know, no one's going to get into it. Um, or you also have the option of, like I said, tossing it out once you've gotten the results that you wanted. Okay. 
All right, so for those of you guys that are doing uh, this work with the spirit powder, I'm going to basically show you what we're going to do now. Okay, so I'm going. So what we're going to do with the spirit powder is. you are going to make a go from the bottom left to the top well to the top then down then cross so basically what you're doing here is you're you're drawing a star all right And then, this could be at the center for now. And then once you're done with that, what you're going to do on top of the star, you're going to make a triangle. All right. Okay. Once you've done once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to position the candle. Um, ideally, you would position the candle by your work. Obviously, we're using the plate because I'm doing more than one. Okay. So once that is done, you're going to put your hands over uh, the candle, and you're going to call upon. Uh, your spirits or your deities or the people, uh, not the people, sorry, uh, your spirits, your deities, or the energies that you work with, okay? Give me one second. Okay, so you could say, I call upon my wise and loving spirit guides. Spirit guides, please step forward and guide me in this uh, ritual that is about to commence. Please empower, allow me to pull towards uh, this spell work, the energies of, and you're going to say the person's first name and last name. Um, I ask you to assist me. I ask you to empower this spell to give me quick and effortless results. Okay. Once that's done, what you're going to do now is you're going to uh, basically light the candle. Okay. Like I said, put it um, by your work and what you're going to do is you're going to be visualizing um, the very quick results that you're wanting, but also pay very close attention to how the flame uh, is burning. When it dances, it could represent that there is some type of um, some type of energy. Obviously, I know the deities and spirit that I am currently working with. Uh, so I know that they're present. Um, so again, I hope that this gives you guys um, very quick results. Like I said, I guarantee that you guys will get results. Try this out. Like I said, for those of you guys that are just having difficulty or just don't really know how to deal with a specific person, do this and I guarantee you that they're going to completely change. It's going to be like a complete turnaround where they're going to be like a very... Uh, wanting to be in your good graces, okay? So once, <coughs> excuse me, so once uh, the candle uh, has burned for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes, that's when we're going to snuff it out. Um, and once that is done, the, the chilies are ready to go in your freezer. Like I said, you're going to leave it in your freezer for seven days and seven nights. By the seventh night, you should get results. Um, you can always toss this out. Uh, if you feel that in the future you may need to do it again on the same person, you can always you always have that option, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope that um, my energy wasn't um, extremely uh, throwing you guys off a bit. We've been doing spell work all day, um, and I actually had just finished doing spell work for my client, but I also wanted to integrate this to just give them quicker results, okay? All right, my lovely. So if you guys try this out, definitely comment below. Let me know how was your experience. And um, so you can encourage other people to uh, try it out as well. All right. 
All right, many blessings to you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.